It's the thrill of deep powder skiing in remote mountains and an experience to be shared. So too is the colorful and lively lifestyle of the world's great resorts. Not many would try extreme skiing, but these brave young people search the world for the toughest places. Celebrities mixed with the millions who have found the mountains of winter. They're all involved in a common love affair. And there are those who actually thrive on speeds of 80 miles per hour, knowing one slip can mean serious injury. Yes, it's a sport with many faces. And you meet them here on Skiing's weekly magazine program. ESPN presents Subaru Ski World with Bob Biatti. This week on Ski World, we'll take a look at some skiing and boarding fanatics from Aspen who just couldn't wait for the snow before hitting the slopes. Also, we'll see an exciting preview of Charlie Sheen's new action-packed ski thriller, Courage Mountain, with ski chases sure to excite even the most experienced hot doggers. Later, we'll check in with actor Don Johnson, who, because of his vice for skiing, is seen on the slopes around Aspen almost as often as he is seen on your TV. Subaru Ski World is brought to you by Subaru, the official car of the U.S. ski team. Subaru, what to drive. And by Visa, official card and traveler's check of the 1992 Olympic Games. Visa, it's everywhere you want to be. And now, from Aspen, Colorado, here's your host, Bob Biatti. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Subaru Ski World. This is our first Ski World show of the season. Before we're finished, we'll be at ski areas throughout the United States and all over Europe, and I hope you'll be joining us week after week. Today, though, we're in Aspen, Colorado, and the skiing started here on November 2nd. There's great snow in Aspen this year. It's the earliest they've ever opened in history. With me today is an Aspen local who we like to spend some time with, Tanya Dibbs. Now, Tanya, you spend a lot of time skiing here in Aspen. How is the skiing? Ah, uh, the skiing's fabulous this year. I've never had opening snow this good, ever. A yacht? I'm pretty good. I hold my own. How about uh, skiing with these guys? You go down the deep bumps, you go all over the place. I try. I'm not bad for a Virginia girl. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not bad at all, but you do more than just ski. Mm -hmm. I'm a carpenter in the summer, uh, full-time in the summer, and I also teach skiing, and I'm an artist. Well, tell us a little bit about your art. Well, I do portraits and interior landscape murals for commission, and on my own I do some landscape, abstracted landscapes, figural things, and uh, I'm thinking of getting a master's next year in art. I've applied to some schools. So. Now, tell us a little bit about that summer activity. In the summer, I'm a carpenter. I don't know what made me get into carpentry, but uh, I enjoy making things. I enjoy building things, and uh, I hope someday to be able to build my own house. So when I came here, I got a job on a construction crew, and little by little, I learned how to be a carpenter. And I still have a lot to learn, but I know I've learned a lot here. How about the guys that are out there on the job? What do they think of you? Uh, <laughs> I guess it depends on the guys. Some guys are great to be around, and some guys aren't great to be around. You know, it's not bad being a local here for you. You get to work in the summer with the guys out on the job. You get to do your art, and then you get to ski a lot. I know. It is great. I mean, I came here three years ago for one season. I'm still here, so that ought to tell you something. <laughs> well, today's a good ski day up here on the mountain, and you should have a good time. Oh, I will, definitely. It's a very special ski day here in Aspen, Colorado. The Aspen Skiing Company is donating for this one day only the entire mountain to the Aspen Winter Club. The charge for skiing today is $25 which will help over 1,000 youngsters in the valley the opportunity to ski for very little all winter long. For them, the mountains are their gymnasium. It might be basketball in the cities, but in Aspen, it's skiing. The community has joined forces to help the kids in the valley, starting with free breakfast at Shlomo's.
Olympic glory used to depend on muscle, talent, and heart. Now you can add digital computer analysis, retinal scanners, and more. And that costs money. That's why every time you use your Visa card, money goes to help the U.S. Olympic team. So pull for the team and pull out your Visa card. Because at the Olympics, they don't take excuses. And they don't take American Express. Visa, it's everywhere you want to be. There's just one with the real attraction for For the satisfaction of With 100% Nutrisweet. Diet Coke. Making a sports car, it seems mandatory to mention how fast it can go. Instead, why not mention the things you shouldn't mention about a sports car? A strong weld, over 24 safety features, all-wheel drive, engineering that endures. Still, if it's speed you want, we promise, with the Subaru SVX, you'll be able to use most of the speedometer. Subaru. What to drive. This gondola only takes 15 minutes to get all the way from the bottom of Aspen Mountain right to the top. And there are a lot of people out here today who can't wait to get on. But there are some young people here in Aspen who didn't even want to wait till the snow got here. Slope encounters of the dirt kind are for those who can't wait for the real stuff to fall. The slopes here are the shale cliffs outside of Aspen, and they provide the setting to boldly go where no skier or shredder has gone before. The technique is similar to snowboarding, but requires some adjustment. Rock shredders try to keep their knees bent and the nose of the board to the rock to avoid going end over end. Using protective gear taken from their skateboarding counterparts, these rock shredders say the trick is to look for loose, dry rock and shale so it will slide. You may be wondering who came up with this idea. There was a family here in Aspen about 15 years ago who did this on skis. Called, they were the Palatiers. And they kind of did everything, but it's it's died since then, and I kind of re resurrected it. Snowboarding's new, so you can kind of redo everything again. Yeah. Alternative Edge co-owner Larry Madden offers tips for aspiring rock shredders. You want to stay on the soft stuff as much as possible. You hit the rocks, it's just like hitting a rock in the snow. You're going to tumble and fall. You want to try to avoid that. Some rock shredders have definite reasons for trying the sport. Ah, uh, because they told me to. <laughs> I do this because I hate my parents. <laughs> why ask why is what I have to say. <laughs> While rock shredding may offer a new twist on a popular sport, there are still those who prefer the traditional approach of two boards. I think I'm too old. <laughs> Coming down may require some awesome board work, but going up requires some tough leg work. Once you've mastered the shred technique, you'll want to bust it and try an ollie, a move that requires skill and a willing volunteer. <laughs> Rock shredding may not offer the best conditions, but when you're itching to be on the slopes, you may have to rock steady for a while. You really have to wonder about young people who go out and punish their bodies like that just to get some skiing in the summertime. Well, good luck, guys, but also, how about those skis? I don't think they're going to be used for skiing or snowboarding this winter. Here on Ski World, we always like to bring you some video reviews, something to dream about when you're going up the lift, also something you'll probably never even want to try to do. Well, Real Radical, the name of this video, done by Peter Scherzanowski, points out some unbelievable skiing. What exactly is extreme skiing? Is it jumping a 50-foot cliff with a strange haircut? Or is it skiing something so gnarly that if you fall, you die? For Eric and Trevor, extreme skiing is skiing slopes so steep that no one has dared ski them before. I think that's the key to extreme skiing, the lure of a first descent. Here in Canada, we have so much terrain, it's just incredible. We can go out and 
there's numerable Fresquito scents. There's the areas that we can go to and have a first or a second ascent of, you know, a climb of the, of the route and then ski back down it. See, it's like a dual bonus. Uh, something special about a first ski descent is just uh, the adventure of going up and being the first person down it. It's, it's something you look at and you've probably looked at a dozen, twenty times. And it just gets in the back of your mind that you want to go up and ski that sucker. And it's just something that's there and you just go out and do it. It's, it's, it's the ultimate prize for, ex for an extreme skier is you got a first ski descent.